Hi, Zach Pater here, River Valley Marina, River Valley Power and Sport of Red Wing. What a neat boat to take you through today. This here is a Larson 2007 23 Escape. A neat boat, we're gonna dive right into it here. A little bit on the outside of the boat, it's got the uh, black accent striping, the silver graphics, and the uh, trailer here, the Larson trailer. That trailer is a tandem axle trailer with surge brakes. Looks to be in very nice shape. So let's take a look inside and dig into the boat a little bit more. So we'll take a jump inside the boat, but first I think we gotta start right back here at this swim platform. Larson did an amazing job with the size of this platform and it's really feature filled. Let's take a look at some of those neat little items on this platform. Start right back here on the uh, starboard side and you've got the boarding ladder, which is a three rung stainless ladder in its own enclosed drainable compartment. Nice little feature on the back of the boat. It's also noteworthy to show that there is a transom shower on the back of this boat. Couple other items, you got a nice grab handle here, which is nice. You also have two pull-up cleats, one mounted right on the stern, and then one top side. You also notice down underneath here, you've got engine trim controls, so everything is just nice and handy. Take a look over here on the port side, you've got another drainable compartment, all fully finished. You also have your water fill over there for the water tank, and you'll see your ski tow eye mounted there right above the escape logo. So we'll take a walk inside the boat here, and it is definitely a big, open, nice boat. On the back here, you've got a nice sun pad going over top of the engine, and they did a great job with the walkthrough. You can flip that up, it's got a small bar and it gives you a nice headrest for lounging out. Work our way inside the boat here and you'll notice in the back you've got large U-shaped seating. Underneath these seats there is storage on the side. You also have a cooler under the middle seat and more storage on the other side. You also have a plethora of cup holders tucked down underneath. Very, very nice. The Captain's seat and the passenger seat will swivel as well, so it gives you a nice conversational area. And the optional cockpit table also gives you a nice area just for lounging around, playing some cards, eating, just gives you that nice social area in the cockpit of the boat. I think it's also worth noting that the passenger seat has a flip-up bolster. The passenger is also right next to the stereo controls there with a nice stainless grab rail and stainless cup holders. Flip over to the driver's side. Again, the flip up bolster with uh, stainless grab handles behind him, speakers. You've got your control levers, hour meter tucked underneath. And take a look at this dash. That is a very clean, very crisp looking dash. You'll notice it's got all the toggle switches with the pop out fuses, 12 volt outlet, tilt steering, just a very good looking, very clean dash. Take a walk up to the front of the boat and I think this is where this escape really comes to life. Look at how wide and how deep and how finished this bow section is. You have cup holders, you've got a nice easy walk out to the front where this ladder is and underneath you have a flip up cooler space. Simply flip it up, throw your ice, throw your drinks in there, it's fully drainable. And you work your way up to the bow and you've got a concealed ladder all held up with a nice solid fiberglass lid with a heavy duty strut. You also have anchor storage in there and you'll see these two nice stainless grab rails, very convenient for going on and off the beach. So the fit and finish is very nice on this boat and these seats are very deep. It's probably hard on video to really get a good feeling for how deep this bow seating is and they have it kind of lounged back a little bit so it's nice and comfortable, kind of wraps you right in. You also see you got nice stainless grab rails up here which are nice, along with the speakers and more cup holders. So to make it a full wraparound seating, there is a filler cushion that goes through the walkthrough area. There's also an additional front table mount, table and table pole. So you have two tables, two poles, two mounts. Gives you again a nice area just for sitting around and 
again playing cards or eating lunch uh, just a nice nice use of the bow area and again it's there's not too often you're gonna find a 23 foot boat that has enough bow space to really put a table in the middle and be able to sit around it so that's a really neat really neat feature on this 23 escape and if we want to make it even more user-friendly it has bow filler cushions so we can fill it in to make it one ginormous sun lounge so we'll work our way backwards in one area we have to look at because in a 23 foot boat of this size we would expect to see one is a small head compartment porta potty a nice big fiberglass door very user friendly whether you're using it just for storage or using it for a changing area or the porta potty and the head purpose and before I leave you here I figured we'd at least show you the engine it's got a 300 horse 350 meg with the Bravo 3 they do a nice job Larson does with this nice hatch that opens up when we look inside here you got the motor water tank batteries everything's pretty easy to get to all right so that's a quick video walkthrough here of this 23 Larson escape a good looking overall boat Please, again, I'm Zach Pater here at River Valley Marina, River Valley Power and Sport of Red Wing. I appreciate you taking the walk through this video with me. And uh, if you got questions on the boat, please give me a call or send me an email. Thanks again and have a great day.